Hiya! Welcome to the Wright & Co. Law Offices. I'm Mortal, and I don't work here. I'm not supposed to be here, I'm here illegally. So let's get through this quick. Welcome to All the Voices of Ace Attorney! So, I'm a voice actor, and people often ask me what voice I'd give to this character, or this character, or this character, for some reason. And I especially get those questions about Ace Attorney. So in this video, I'll be doing my take on every male adult voice in the first Ace Attorney game. That's a clip from the game, highlighting each character, fully dubbed, and also including an explanation of the voice if I have anything remotely interesting to say about it. And of course, if this needs to be said, spoiler warning for Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney 1. This includes several identities of killers, so don't watch characters from cases you haven't played. And with all that out of the way, let's... Uh... Did Nick let you in? Who are you? Oh, yeah, sorry, nobody let me in. I just snuck onto the premises to film a 40-second monologue for a mid-range YouTube video about voice acting. If I get to be in the video, I won't tell Nick. Deal. And now a word from our sponsor, Rage Shadow oh, if you have a sponsor, then I also want 50 bucks. Fine. Okay, sponsor time. Rage Shadow Legends is the greatest video game ever made. Ace Attorney? Ace Attorney! It's raid time! Introducing the Doom Tower! So the lore for the Doom Tower is that it's a big prison for super bosses? That's how it plays, it's hard! I took the team I built for the last raid ad and I got wiped in like five seconds. Also, just to be real, I did for real play this game for a couple days last time, it was fun. It has this really strong party management loop, it's solid. As for new stuff, they put Ronda Rousey in the game. This is a legendary champion available for free right now for all players, new and old. You just log in on seven different days before February 20th and you'll get your chance to feed her to the Doom Tower. And use the code Raid Ronda for these bonuses. If you're on Amazon Prime, there's free rewards on there too. And if you've never played Raid before, you can click my link in the description or scan my QR code here on the screen to get unique bonuses worth $30. We're talking a free epic champion, 200k silver, one energy refill, and one XP boost, and one ancient shard so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in game. Find me under the name The Mortal and join my clan. I'll see <clears throat> Whew, something came over me at the end there. Anyway, let's start this video with someone we all know and love. Your Honor, there is a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Clearly a contradiction. Hmm, indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because you're lying. You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Oh yeah? Prove it. Prove I went in there. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. You struck her with the clock and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. <laughs> 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. Uh, why? Why? Well... No one is as sad as a person without any friends. I know. I've been there. A long time ago. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. <laughs> now, you may have gathered, but uh, this voice is basically just me. It's just me projecting my voice out a little, which I already do for these videos, so yeah, literally just me. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, uh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a taped program. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. <laughs> Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Objection! Hold it right there! 
The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it. What? It's you with your objections and your evidence. Just who do you think you are? So basically my approach with this guy is, he's trying to make himself seem as unassuming and trustworthy as possible, but doing a bad job. So my voice for him is kind of a bad impression of Satoru Iwata, actually. But I'm kind of leveraging the fact that I can't do a good Japanese accent here because neither can the character. <laughs> Him. Mr. Butts, is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? Hey, watch it, buddy! We were great together! We were Romeo and Juliet! Cleopatra and Mark Anthony! Um, didn't they all die? I wasn't dumped! She just wasn't taking my phone calls! Or seeing me! Never. What's it to you, anyway? Mr. Butts, what you describe is generally what we mean by dumped. In fact, she had completely abandoned you, and was seeing other men. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. What do you mean, one of them? Lies! All of it lies! I don't believe a word of it! Your Honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Hmm. Indeed. She appears to have returned the day before the murder. Dude. No way. The victim was a model, but did not have a large income. It appears that she had several sugar daddies. Daddies? Sugar? Yes, older men who gave her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude! We can clearly see what kind of woman this Miss Stone was. Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? So, for pain, this is basically my best attempt at impersonating his objection scream across his entire voice. I know it would technically make more sense to make him just, like, painfully dull and generic, but how can you possibly hear him any other way after hearing him sound like this? OBJECTION! <laughs> if that wasn't the most over-the-top clearing of the throat I've ever heard... Aha! So, you're the one they say has been looking for me? Uh, yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I imagined. Hmm? That badge on your collar. Ah, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Y yes Well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please, proceed. Not busy? Then how come no one could get in touch with you? Hmm? There's something the matter? You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it. Um, well, sir, actually, it's about Maya. Maya Fay. <laughs> ah, yes. Maya Fay. Go on. Hmm? Why the strange reaction? Ah, cha cha. I I'm really quite busy here, son. I, 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 I can't go taking cases on a day's notice, no. It's quite impossible. W wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Uh, uh, anyway, uh, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry. End the discussion. All right, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? Gumshoe? What an odd name. Okay, this is just a little aside. I'm noticing here he's commenting on his odd name? Like, what what world are you in? Your name is Phoenix Wright. What are you talking about? We received a report from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great. Just great. Whoa! Excuse me! <laughs> this word Maya here mean anything to you? Um, that... that's my name. What?! The victim drew this here note in her own blood, see? With a dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name! C killer I, I know- He's closed! You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am! What?
Uh, I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, uh, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are of the same ilk. We both carry the scent of danger. There we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. If you had a photo of that man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. What's with the surreal decor? Welcome! Please furnish me with the title of your personage. What the? Your name! What's your name? I was just inquirably asking the title that you go by. Uh, right. Phoenix, right. Inquirably? Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. Splendiferous. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giantesque vocabulary? What is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion official. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I am not used to conversing with the wordly challenged. What a fruitcake. I really like doing this one. This one is basically me trying to approximate Patrick Warburton with my much more limited range. And then I also play him like he's just having a really good time talking down to people. And it's really fun to say the fake tacular vocabulations. Not bad. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder, and we have a witness who saw her do it. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin, then. If we may call our first witness, Your Honor. The prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumshoe. Objection! Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. I didn't. I see. Very Objection! Well. Your Honor! I request that the witness testify again. Mr. Edgeworth. What exactly did you want her to testify about? <laughs> well, yes, um... Indeed. V verily, I say. Ergo. I, I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. Okay, so I, I have a confession to make about this one, and I'm so, so sorry. This voice for Edgeworth is based on Stewie Griffin from Family Guy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, and I'm sorry I told you, but I had to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, listen, <laughs> it, was, it kind of fits. You have disgraced me for the last time, Steel Samurai! The pale moon in the sky cries for your blood! The moon? No. It is you who should gaze upon the moon. For it will be the last moon you ever see! See you in hell, evil magistrate! Whoa! Will Powers, our client. That's him. I shouldn't be saying this, but he definitely did it. Murder. At least once. Maybe twice. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you saying? Um... Y yes Something wrong? No, no! This is getting off to a great start. I know, I know. You're disappointed, aren't you? D disappointed Oh, no! Oh, no. No, it's okay. This is the real me. When I got the part of the Steel Samurai with that mask, I decided I would never show my face in public until the job was over. It's the kids, you know? I didn't want to wreck their dreams. Oh. 
I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. I wonder what they think of the Steel Samurai now. <laughs> oh, fuck. This guy has my color palette. God damn it. I just realized that. WTF? Who are you dudes? Lamau? Huh? Oh, we... Wait, you first! Who are you? You look pretty suspicious to me! Whatever, Lame Earth. How could you not know the great Salmonella? I'm a Talit Shows! The Steel Samurai, mine, RTFT, the film credit. Really? You're THE Salmonella? I'm so sorry. I just, you look so... sorry. No, no, quite alright, really. It's fine. We're awful. And I'm going to stop it here. I'm not going to do the rest of this. Uh, my friend is playing Maya right now. I'm not going to do that. Anyway, sometimes this game gives you an opportunity to not even attempt to sound like a real human being, and so it lets me get away with stuff like this. I'm blessed. Not by having to read this, though. Meg! That you? Hey, is that Keith with you? Where have you two been? I've been worried sick. Nick? You handle this. Uh, I think I'll leave this one up to you, Maya. Meg! Yes? Finally made up your mind, have you? M my mind? You'll run the pasta shop when I'm gone? Pasta? Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. You make your old man proud. When you kids left the house, I didn't know what to think. How am I supposed to keep this place running an old man like me? Polly! The kids are home! Hello! Hello! Okay, 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 okay. That's not what a parrot sounds like, I acknowledge that. I just, listen, the first time I played this game, that was the best noise I could do. And it's stuck, and it's it's been like six years. Plus, it's like so much funnier, right? I'm not wrong on this. Nick? What was that? A parrot. The one on that perch. Keith! Y yes I leave the wet noodle in your capable hands, Sonny. N Nick? What's the wet noodle? Um, based on the available evidence, I'd say it's the name of his pasta shop. That's a relief, isn't it, Polly? Hello! Hello! Bleh. Hey up? Oh, this is a fun one. I know exactly where I got this voice from. Aha! Uh -huh. Caught you red gloved it! In flagrant disregard of my new email tax, eh? One creamy ding snack cake for every email sent or received! Is the king of town from Homestar Runner! It's like the perfect senile old man voice, and it's very fun to do. Although I do play it a little more muted here, so as not to sound completely cartoony. But fuck yeah, king of town, let's go. I'll never forget what that young defense lawyer said after the trial. Let's see, what was his name again? Mr. Left? Anyway, he said he's been doing, uh, something or other for, uh, how many years? Well, anyway, I've got another trial to get to, so I'd better be... Huh? Oh, no! I forgot my gavel! Sorry, I gotta go! Ah, uh, excuse me. Knock, knock? Oh, it's you! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Sorry I'm late, Aji. The roads were packed. It's just me. Long time no see, eh, Aji? How you been? Swim much these days? Ah, hello, hello. No, I've been so busy. Busy, busy, schmizzy, Aji, my boy. You have to make time to relax. Um, sorry, but who are you? Aha! So you're Rido, the attorney. 
I've heard good things about you, son. Huh? Uh, uh, thanks? So sorry about our little worthy giving you all that trouble, eh? You know, we should all go swimming together sometime. Jolly! May you ever notice how Red White and Damon Gant have never been seen in the same place at the same time? That's because they're both Patrick Warburton, a.k.a. me. Didn't know you were listening to Patrick Warburton, now did you? Well, you're not. Anyway, yeah, it's also a Patrick Warburton voice, but higher, which I guess kind of defeats the purpose, but that's, that's the approach. And the difference also comes from the performance, where Damon is a lot more jolly and friendly rather than haughty asshole. Witness, please state your name and occupation. Me, partner? Oh, I'm just a man, same as you, wandering the trails of civilization. Occasionally helping the elderly cross intersections when needed. Yes, we get it. Oh, I know. You're a patrolman. As for my name, if you listen hard enough, you can hear the howling wind calling it out. To be exact, it's Jake Marshall, Your Honor. Now, Mr. Marshall, let me ask you something. You were in charge of guarding the evidence room on the day the crime took place. Is this correct? According to the papers, partner. What do you mean? A desperado's soul is as boundless as the desert sands. No paper can sum it up. This is just a deeper, smoother version of the engineer from Team Fortress 2, which weirdly, it's kind of similar to my Sans, which I guess makes sense in the abstract, but I kind of don't like saying it out loud. But I mean, let's be real here, nothing's nothing's beaten Edgeworth. <laughs> fucking Sans, fucking Homestuck, Wunzler, bullshit. I, nothing comes close, man. Sir! I'm a patrolman with General Affairs, sir! Sir! Ow. I can hear you fine, Officer Meekins. I had some business that day, sir, and so I went to the evidence room, sir. The guard station in front of the room was empty, sir. Now the security officer was none other than Officer Marshall. Marshall? Then, sir, I happened to glance at the security room monitor. That's when I saw him, sir. A suspicious person in the evidence room. A suspicious person, sir. A suspicious person. What the heck is this guy doing? I actually never came up with a voice for this guy before doing this video, because I hate him. And my goal with this voice was to make you hate me. So I hope I succeeded with that. Just let me let me know in the comments if you hate me, or if you or if you love Raid Shadow Legends. Um, Mr. Von Karma? Is the prosecution ready? Fool. You seriously think that I would stand here were I not completely prepared? Right. My apologies. Uh, very well. Your opening statement, please. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Uh, uh, nothing, of course. That should be fine. The prosecution may call its first witness. I call the detective in charge of this case, Detective Dick Gumshoe. Describe the incident. No! Uh, yes, I. That scream. I've heard that scream before. Wait, I know. Mon Karma, it was you who screamed. It's worth. That's worth! Only you would dare defy me! So, it was you! You and your father are my curse! Your father shamed me with a penalty on my record! And you, you left a scar on my shoulder that would never fade! I, I'll bury you! I'll bury you with my bare hands! Death! Death! This one's been through some iteration, actually. Originally, I tried to go absurdly deep like the objection clip, but that ended up being too silly. So then I switched to something closer to what I do now, except the German accent was thicker. But then I realized, oh no, wait, he's cartoonishly obsessed with doing everything perfect. He wouldn't mispronounce consonants. So then I thinned out the accent a bit, just had him mispronounce the vowels, and I think that works pretty well. And that's everything.
I want to give a big thanks to Chloe, that's at bedhead, spelled with an eight, for playing Maya in this video and on the channel in general. I swear every time we work together I'm just floored by how instantly she kills it. So yeah, big thanks. Also thanks to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring. For real, the fact that they've let me do the ads in the style I've done them in and actually tolerate me is incredibly fucking cool. And for that I really think you should, you know, check it out, give it a chance, for real. Also a little update about my upload schedule. Things have been a bit slow, I've been in the middle of my last year of college and it's been quite a lot, so things will still be a little slow for a couple of months, but I'll try and at least get one or two projects out in the meantime. On the upside though, I'm learning to draw. I drew the thumbnail for this video even. Hopefully you'll start to see more of me integrating that skill as I learn it. And last thing, if you didn't already know, I made a second channel. It'll just be the place for any random low effort stuff I happen to make. Song covers, memes, random diatribes, behind the scenes content, that sort of thing. There are some example videos up already, so do check it out. And that's all I wanted to cover in the end slate. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Enjoyed, comment if you got any strong opinions about any of my vocal choices, and have a good one.